the world teaches that courage, you know, is bringing your fear under subjection or overcoming your fear. You know, I've heard many things like the way to beat fear is to step into fear, or you've heard that saying, the only thing to fear is fear itself. But the Bible actually is very specific on what you should fear and what you should not fear. And so the, the part of the message I want to focus on is right there in Joshua 1, uh, verses 6 through uh, verses 9. And let's go there real quick. And it says, Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide an inheritance of the, an inheritance the land, which I swear unto the fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayst observe to do according to all the law. Which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. And let's just read uh, verse 18 for the sake of the verses that cover courage. And it says, Whatsoever he be that, uh, Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment, and will not hearken unto thy words, in all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. So, you know, the Bible is here, he's telling them, Several times in just one chapter, and the only other time we see this, and also in Deuteronomy 26, we'll touch on that, but to be strong and of good courage, and then he follows it up with don't fear, or be not afraid. And what the reason, the, the very first time I decided to do a study on the word courage was because, you know, you read the verses before and after uh, Joshua 1.8, and Joshua 1.8 is used in business a lot, because it's the only word in the King, it's the only time in the King James you're going to find the word success. And, you know, it just says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. The only challenge is when business people are teaching it, they only focus on prosper and success, and they don't tell you that, you know, you got to meditate on the word day in and day out. You know, day, therein day and night, right? Every day, in the morning and in the evening, what are you doing? You're meditating on the word. Well, how do you meditate on the word? You've got to read it first in order to find out what it says. 